coping part of this for both of you has been kind of interesting. Because both of you are very, very smart, so you just put your intelligence where you have to. You One know? of the great quotes I've ever heard is from uh, the, the great painter Robert Rauschenberg, who was uh, the, about the most learning disabled uh, dyslexic person I've ever known. He literally could not read. I can stumble through a book, it takes a long time, but I can, I can still read. And he said, and I thought it was such a great way to put it, he said, you know, we're very smart. He said, uh, we're, you know, people think we're really dumb because we don't perform well in tests and things. But he said, when you're this way, you have to find other venues for your intelligence. Right. And, that I th and, and that's what you have to prove to your teachers, too. You have to prove to your teachers that even though you're not going to be able to spit back the name, uh, names or dates, that you, that you care about the material. And we have to prove to the people who we see that we care about them even though we're not going to recognize their faces and maybe remember their names. So you have to be charming. You have to be a bullshitter. <laughs> uh, you have to be fast on your feet and figure out how you're going to explain your way out of the fact that you don't uh, know who they are or remember them. So yeah, let me ask you about that. Do you do you find people calling you like a snob or I mean like like what do you mean you don't know me? I'm the host of this dinner party kind of thing. Um, y yes, um, usually my my assistant Kate will say to people beforehand before they come in, don't ask if if he remembers you. Because he'll say no. And to me, she says, don't just say no. Say. I'm awful with faces. I wouldn't recognize my own mother. Uh -huh. um, but I, um, I tend to withdraw. You withdraw. Um, yeah. But um, so you, you solve it by going into a corner and not talking to anybody. Well, it doesn't solve it. It just often makes it worse. But um, uh, um, but not here. My my approach is to be more outgoing, more friendly, whatever, and to try and um, charm my way. Uh, uh, through things, and I also lecture and talk all the time about face blindness and my other problems so that people are aware that I have them and, ha and they'll cut me some slack. Well, this charm offensive that you go on, what, what does that, like how, if you have no idea who you're talking to, what are the, what are the charm moves? That well, you not left? always is it charming. I, I didn't recognize a woman I'd lived with for a year, <laughs> two years. <laughs> Two years later, and there's no amount of charm that is going to get you through uh, a, a mistake like that. Um, so the, so you didn't answer my question. So if you can't say, like, do you just do you make fun of yourself? Or? Oh yeah, oh. self-deprecating humor will yeah. will cover a, a great deal. And um, and um, if um, if you laugh at, at yourself, you're giving permission. To other, for other people to see it as less than the most tragic uh, condition. It, it is funny, you know? It's funny. Uh, I wish I didn't have it, but it's funny. 